Okay, what do we have here? <clears throat> Today I will be doing a quick unboxing of U-Boat, the board game. Apologies in advance for cough, because I've got a bit of a bit of a chest cold at the moment, but um, this will be the first time that I will actually be even seeing what's inside of here. So let's let's have a quick look. This is the uh, Kickstarter edition with one or two little extras along with it. So what do we have here? Okay, let's have a look. We have an all-in resin Kriegsmarine, which looks to be all the little things. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Rather than guessing, <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got? Looks like a little toolbox or a, a workbench. We've got another little toolbox workbench just in a slightly different colour. We have... I have no idea but I'm assuming it's a fire extinguisher of some sort. Looks pretty interesting. And a little light, if I can remember which way around. That's pretty, pretty good. And another little device. <clears throat> what else have we got? There's another one. And lastly, next up we have the environmentals. I already know what all of these are going to be. This is the little effects going on within your U-boat. Things like uh, fire, as we can see, nice bright red. We have gas. And a little green and a little skull. That's kind of interesting. And what's that? A oh, bit of foam. <laughs> we have a little leak, a little water leak. And we have what looks to be a little lightning bolt, so that's a little an electrical problem. Let's have a look. There's something in black. Do you know, I have no idea. I shall have to look that one up. <laughs> and then we have <clears throat> the interiors. So this will be things like the engines the radio and so on and so on oh and the kitchen or at least a galley sorry let's let's get our terminology right here i believe that to be the galley i could be very very wrong on that part of the engine details not too bad actually all things considered actually that is the engine which is rather large. And what else do we have? We have the periscope. And we have possibly either, I don't know, Maybe oxygen production, maybe a scrubber, could well be, and 
no idea right now. I could take a wild guess that it could be, could be the radio. There are a couple of Paladin sleeves, which, well, let's be honest, you don't need to see what sleeves look like. Sleeves are sleeves. And then lastly, the wooden components that replace or can be used as well as the card ones. So that's a little Kriegsmarine ruler. And you have a little Kriegsmarine pencil, which for some reason needs its own little plastic bag. Maybe it's because the lead might damage anything. And another little, uh, another little ruler. I actually do remember what that's called, but I can't quite remember right now. This, I do know, is the playmat, which I will open a little bit later. Let's put that to one side for the moment. <clears throat> Let's remove these two bits of foam. We have a little message from the designer. We also have, I'm going to put it the right way up, a number of emblems. There is nothing on the other side. <clears throat> and then last but not least is the actual box itself. Uh, let me just get rid of that so that we can really see what's going on. <clears throat> the box itself isn't that heavy, but I'm a little bit disturbed by the amount of noise that makes. Uh, let's get this open. open. Now I do believe that a lot of this is rattling around because once the submarine is fully assembled it will fit inside the box. So we have a tactical guide when I'm not assaulting my camera, how to perform some of the rolls, looks fairly good. Inside the lid, and then we have the rule book. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Some nice little images on the inside. I'm just going to do a quick flick through how to assemble the submarine. what an average game board will look like with each one of the rolls. So it's seems to seems to be pretty hefty. Just do a quick flick through, see if there's anything anything that I can find that jumps out. Not really. A couple of closing comments and some credits. And then we have the Enigma code sheet. Let's remove that for one moment. We also have, if I place them down, a number of navigational maps and charts for the English coast, for a little bit of Europe and Ireland. There appears to be quite a few of these, so I dare say we'll probably end up using one or two per game. All things dependent. Let's just remove that little sleeve. And then we have what appears to be a captain's log. So we have a Captain's log showing chief engineer, the navigator, the first officer, and the captain, and 
right now I have absolutely no idea what some of these things actually pertain to purely because this is my first look I must admit even when the rule book got released early I didn't actually read it just because I didn't want to be spoiled there's a little identification sheet for uh, various vessels, freighters, armed freighters, cargo ships, armed cargo ships, heavy lifts, bulk carriers, tankers, and then the dangerous part, the escort vessels, your corvettes, your destroyers, sloops, and the illustrious, the aircraft carrier. Along with fishing boats, mortar torpedoes, and patrol boats. That looks pretty good. Let's push that to one side. And then we have... We have, we have, we have... When my fingers work properly. Let's open that. Push that to one side. We have the various roles, so we have a captain's chart, a little setup diagram, a little explanation for how to perform your role, along with what you are doing with that particular role. And then we have the first officer. He looks like he's taking care of the various medical positions. Interesting, along with the Enigma code sheet and identification. Now that we mentioned that, let's see what Captain deals with, apart from the obvious. He deals with morale, order tokens, Captain's cards, activation spaces. That's pretty interesting. The Navigator, I wonder what they do. <laughs> let's have a look. We've got a Navigator, so you've got a Range Ruler. Uh, we have the attack disc, tactical map, food supply, available products, various meals, crew, tiles. Let's see what's on this side. Always remember, be aware of what course the U-boat is following. So it's a little, little cheat sheet for things to pay attention to when you are performing that particular role. And then last but not least, the chief engineer. So looks like the chief engineer is dealing with the various toolboxes, so repairs, the overall condition of the submarine, the engine room, various environmental conditions, a depth gauge, and supply tokens. That's looks pretty good. And then a little kind of model at the bottom for hull breaches. <coughs> have a look so we have the set course we have punch sheet by the looks of things not too sure on, on that as of right now we've got a as per usual a bag of bags I think I've got dozens of those at the moment literally falling over them and then we have the various components. Obviously, here's the cardboard version. And then we have a wooden version, which I believe was a separate add-on, depending upon whether or not you backed early. Slightly disturbing, unless that's two separate sheets, because I highly doubt. Yes, it is. I was just about to say, there's no way we'd be punching out those on the back of that. Made no sense. And I was right. Various punch sheets. We have an attack disc. We have a little Kriegsmarine bag, which is making a Rather odd noise, so I'm wondering what's inside of it. A pencil. Awesome. 
the little sprockets for obviously holding the attack disc together. We have what looks to be a mutiny deck. Not gonna look too much at what these cards are, just to keep it keep it a little bit of a secret as to what's going on. That I definitely know is part of the submarine's construction. We have a couple of player boards or crew boards to be exact. Let's flip that around to be the right way. So we've got navigator observers, we have second watch officer and observers. Chief Engineer, Mechanics and Machinists, another Senior Engineer and a couple of Machinists. We have Beer because, well, why not? So, and uh, interesting looking pistol. We have a little plastic box containing what look to be the remaining resin components for the submarine. I shall open that in just a moment. <clears throat> we have another two punch boards because that feels a little bit too heavy to be won and I'm right. So we've got the various effects, fire, electric, water, gas, I have no idea right now, it's a broken light bulb. <laughs> couple of food tokens, couple of wound tokens. And if we move to the next board, we have a little diagram of the submarine, which looks to be jigsawed at the moment. So I dare say there must be some sort of little jigsaw game. That little clink that you heard earlier would have been... Oh, a little hatch and then we have that's the actual attack bearing so that must have been part of that weird looking punch board that I couldn't quite work out why it was empty let's have a look we have the remainder of the submarine board and we have ooh, another submarine board of which this has come slightly out. Feels nice and thick actually the card on this, so it looks like it's gonna be interesting and fun to put together. Just a couple of little bits remain. We have the actual player boards. So they they are what are going to go in front of players, depending upon who you are and what you are. That looks to be the navigator's board, nothing on the back. And then we have what I assume to be the chief engineer. Let's have a look. Again, slightly different back this time. And obviously dealing with the depth and the speed. The boards are all the same size by the looks of things, but it just appears to be slightly bigger. Ah, the remaining crew positions. The midshipmen, the helmsmen, the radiomen, first officer, helmsmen. Next we have what I assume to be the captain. As of right now, I have no idea. I'm assuming maybe morale, maybe depth. Don't quite know right now. And again, a nice little effect on the back. And then the final board. With a couple of available products. So I'm assuming this is the first officer because that'll be meal creation 
couple of plates underneath, food supply on top, um, a nice little image to go along with it, and again, the back. Now, let's have a quick look if I can get inside of this and it's not sealed too tightly. Let's have a look and cut that and let's try and go through the tape and not my hand because I don't fancy filming a horror movie, not this early. So we have, let's have a look, let's have a look, open, thank you. When you talk to you, talk to your bags, they work. We have some little crewmen. I dare say these are to denote something. I'm not too sure right now precisely what they denote. Let's have a look at the next bag, which looks to be ships to be placed on the little navigation board. Let's open you up. Come on out. So we have a little group of ships. We have an unknown. So it's a little pair of binoculars with an unknown. We have a little transport vessel. Apologies, but these are a little bit difficult to uh, bring into focus. I will say maybe some of the edges on a few of these might need to be filed down. As you can see, there's a little bit of plastic there. But I dare say these will end up going on something like either the main map or possibly on this board, almost battleship style. Let's have a look at the big bag. Big bags always tend to hold slightly more interesting things. So we have a deck gun, which no doubt will have to be fitted to the submarine. We have another smaller machine gun. And a radio antenna, which appears to just be one big block. I believe I've just got one last bag. <clears throat> I'm actually quite impressed that my cough is holding itself at bay for the moment, which is good. Let's grab a couple of people out of here. So we have a little white base. It's not a really, when it comes into focus, it's not a really detailed figurine, but at the end of the day, they're more to represent what your crew are and where they are and what their particular role is but no doubt for the miniature artists out there they'll have great fun painting these I must admit the binoculars on this particular model are not fantastic but Again, for what they are, they're still actually quite, quite good.
And then last but not least, I might have to tidy up a little bit. But we have the mat. Which, let me slice open. Proving to be not difficult to remove. Aha, got you. So what I might do is I might pause for one moment and through the magic of the internet, I shall find a way to clean everything up. So give me one moment. Right. Ta -da. So what we have here is the playmat. And effectively what will happen is you will place the submarine when it's fully assembled on top, which I will get around to. But overall, it's not a bad mat actually. So we've got a couple of different positions. A lot of numbers, obviously referencing each section within the submarine, but overall I'm more than happy with what I've just seen. Now I need to go off and build the submarine and we shall see. Okay, thank you. Okay, I couldn't wait. It took me a little while, but I decided to put it together. Here is the completed submarine with a few little interior parts. Now, obviously, I don't think I've got everything where it should be, but at the very least, you can see what it looks like when it's fully assembled. And obviously, it'll look even better when it's all painted. And that is the torpedo tubes, which I should have realised early on, but hey, in the excitement of trying to open the box and show you all what this looks like you know, I had a complete brain fart as to what that exactly was so we have a galley we have a little periscope we have radio and communications we also have the main deck gun we have the conning tower we have a little machine gun and we have the various engine room segments. But yeah, all in all, seems like pretty good. I look forward to uh, having a quick game.